Hello everyone and welcome once again to Scorpion Cigar Reviews. Today I will be rever reviewing the uh, Christoph Maduro. This is a Robusto size cigar, 55 by 54 Nice, fairly firm stick, just as it should be. has a pigtail cap and a wrapped foot. Uh, some would call that shaggy foot. Uh, just a, I call it wrapped, whatever you want to call it, I guess comes in at a very dark, uh, dark chocolate, almost like um, like an espresso colored wrapper. Some veins, nice tight seams, has a kind of a, not really an oily sheen, but almost, almost like silk, the way the light reflects off of it. This is a Dominican Republic uh, made cigar consisting of uh, Brazilian Maduro wrapper. The binder and filler are Dominican, Dominican Olor and Cuban Seed Nicaraguan. Um, has some nice sense of, what is that, maybe, is that honeysuckle I'm smelling? A little bit of bread dough. Now it's hard to get a scent off the foot when it's a wrapped foot, but there is a little something coming from it. Some cedar, a little bit of chili powder, something else in there. Some some other spices, maybe maybe curry, maybe. I'm not sure. It's wonderful. Okay. Well, uh, the. Uh, Banding, it's I can already tell it's fairly loose. I can just kind of twist and off comes the, the band without any damage to the scar at all. What? Oh, 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 my bad. I did catch a corner of it. I was, hmm, boy, am I an idiot. Well, there's plenty of glue on the band. However, it doesn't carry over under the cigar, so. There we go. Well, the secondary band designating that this is a Maduro wrapper. As I was sliding it up, I did catch a little corner where, uh, uh, right at the seam where a vein and the seam met. And I don't know if you can see that, but I did peel it up a little bit. Hopefully that won't be a problem. And it is right at the nub. So hopefully it's, uh, it'll be all right for smoking. I don't, I don't foresee it being a, a real big issue. I've told myself in the past, uh, after having the same issues where, oh yeah, the band's nice and loose, it rolls around, all I just slide it right off, and lo and behold, I managed to catch a corner of the seam or something, and, well, one of these days, I might learn not to do that. Let's see. Anyway. have a new cutter. I finally broke down and spent the money on a Zycar XI3. Got some nice weight to it. I got the, uh, they say it was, it's chrome. However, it's only the handles that are chrome. And the main body of it is uh, just stainless steel, uh, slightly polished. You can still see the brush marks in it. But I also took it down to uh, uh, a local, uh, well, it's called Things Remembered. I, I don't know if you have them in your area, but they do engravings on various wedding gifts, uh, that type of thing. But uh, so I had my initials and a scorpion, you know, because scorpions are my thing, engraved on the back side of it there. So, I'll go ahead and get this cut up. Still managed to make a little bit of a mess. I just cleaned in here today. Anyway. I 
the draw is a little bit tight, but it may very well be because it does have um, a covered foot. So once that burns off, it may open up. I'm sure it will. Wow, lots of lots of spice. There's a lot going on. Very flavorful. It's definitely got hay. Has the cedar in there, some chili powder. Well, that hay is wonderful. Some other barnyard type flavors in there. Fantastic. All right. So we'll get lit up and see how we progress from there. Initial lighting. This is a definitely a, it's a solid medium body. There's a little bit of maybe red pepper. A lot going on. It's hard to pick it out. A little bit dry uh, in the back of the palate. Maybe some flintiness in there. Some other metallic minerals. Okay, so uh, we'll get somewhere into the first third and see how it progresses from there. So we are about 10 minutes into it. We have uh, oh, about an inch or so worth of ash. Nice white ash, fairly even burn. Just a slight amount of waviness, no big deal. The ash seems to be fairly compact and tight. Uh, at the moment, I, I don't see any worries of it falling off in my lap, so I'll keep going for a moment. There is A definite odd taste of maybe some underdone poultry. Not, not necessarily bad, but I just find it kind of odd. I, generally, I guess you would think that underdone poultry would you know, be a, something you really wouldn't want to be tasting, but it's, it's kind of subtle. Um, it's not... It's not bad, it's just a little odd. Still has the metallic minerals, some, some flint, that type of thing. Um, it's a, a good solid medium body. The, the draw has tightened up from when I initially lit it, um, when, when it was just the, the very foot that was burning. Uh, it seemed like the draw was gonna loosen up nicely. Uh, but then once I got through just the, the initial lighting right on the foot and uh, entered into the first third, the draw uh, really tightened up. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully it'll open back up. I really can't take any more off the end. I cut off more than I wanted to in the first place from the head of the cigar. Smoke's kind of warm. Not, not enough to put you off, but it's definitely got some warmth to the smoke. Getting some black pepper on the retrohale. 
smoke is still quite dry on the rear of the pallet. Actually, it's kind of dry all over now. I do have a glass of water with me, so that will definitely come in, in handy with this cigar. So we'll uh, we'll get somewhere to the second third, and we'll see how the cigar progresses from there. I'm pairing tonight's cigar with Woodford Reserve Distillers Select from Abrat and Graham. This is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. It's bottled at 45.2%. Just one of those little sampler bottles. I've recently been trying some whiskey. When I find something that I like, I'll buy a larger bottle. Um, you can generally pick up the little sampler bottles for two, three bucks a bottle. And they're perfect for sampling. You can, I've used a little more than half on this bottle. Uh, I put a little more on my glass than I normally do for sampling. But I can generally get two samplings out of these little sampler bottles. Um, being bottled at 45.2%, uh, it's fairly strong. Kind of a golden color. I went ahead and I put a couple drops of water in it to help open up the, the nose on it. And it's worked. It's, it's taken that alcoholic bite out of it. There's some fruity notes in there, almost like a like a melon, a little bit of sweetness to it. Uh, not quite cotton candy, but it's definitely sweet. Still a lot of alcohol burn on there. has a very whiskey character to it. There's this just now starting to come through where the flavors of the whiskey are now overpowering the initial alcohol burn from when you first uh, swish it around your mouth, let it sit on your tongue, and then you swallow it to get the bulk of the alcohol out, and you're left with where your taste buds are just starting to pick up the lingering effects of the various flavors in the drink. Okay. So, this is my pairing uh, for the cigar for tonight. Hopefully, uh, it'll go well with it. I'm in the second third of the cigar now. I did go ahead and ash uh, right after uh, right after the first third, just before it transitioned into the second third. A uh, little bit of effort to get it off, not a whole lot, so it probably could have held on a little bit longer, but uh, it didn't want it falling off in my lap, so there we are. The second third brought on some some grilled meat just subtle slight hints short on the finish of grilled meat and there it's transitioning quite quick quite quickly into uh, for the most part just black pepper maybe a little bit of, a little bit of cardboard in there A little bit of woodsiness. There's something else in there. I haven't been able to pick it out. It's almost, almost dessert-like. There's a maybe a custard. Something along those lines. A custardy, creamy, 
dessert type. Very subtle, short on the finish. Real hard to pick out. The smoke is still fairly warm. The burn seems to be trying to correct itself. It's almost perfect. Still clean burning as well. Uh, I feared that being a tight draw, having to put as much effort under the draw as I am, that it might bring in some some juices, uh, but it's it's remaining clean. I've recently turned down the humidity on my my humidor there. I now run it at 67% instead of 70. I was having some issues with cigars that were going out quite often um, or where I had to correct the burn a lot. So I thought, well, maybe I'll try to turn the humidity down and maybe it'll help with the uh, cigars burning a little bit better. Now it'll take time for the cigars to release the humidity that they have in them. But uh, it's been probably a week or 10 days since I've turned it down. So, starting to show signs, uh, a little bit better burn. So I'll hold it at the 67%. See how things turn out from there. Make sure I'm not getting too dry or see if it needs to go down any further from there. All the flavors are very subtle, very short on the finish. Just now I've got a slight, ever so slight hint of uh, like a saddle leather. Very pleasant. Okay, so I'll get somewhere into the final third and see uh, how it progresses from here. 45 minutes in. Starting uh, yeah, somewhere into the final third here. Uh, burn is still pretty even, a little bit of waviness, not bad at all. Once again, I, I did ash as I entered the final third. Picking up a little bit of toast, some roasted meat. Smoke is still fairly dry and warm. Slightly tight draw, still burning pretty cleanly. No issues with the wrapper coming unraveled or anything like that. Even where I had uh, nicked the edge of the seam there, sliding the, the band off, it doesn't seem to be a problem. Something else coming through. There are several flavors that are very subtly pronounced. Real hard to pick out what they are. Short on the finish. A little bit of sure what that is. Some of the flavors are just so subtle and so short on the finish. Almost indiscernible. Still picking up some black pepper. Rear palate. At times the black pepper coats the entire palate, but for the majority it's uh, on the rear of the palate. Dry smoke on the rear palate. It's 
pleasant cigar overall. Now with that, I will mention that my initial impressions with the scents on the wrapper and on the pre-draw, I'm not really getting any of those flavors Excuse me, while smoking the body of the scar. So I'll get uh, somewhere into the nub with my uh, final overall impressions. Here I am entering the nub. I did once again ash shortly before I started the nub. With some effort. So the ash was holding on nice and tight, but once you get an inch or so worth of ash, uh, from that point you run the risk of it dropping off in your lap, so off with the ash. As I mentioned, I'm pairing this cigar with, <clears throat> with a Woodford Reserve Distillers Select Kentucky Bourbon. whiskey has a definite effect on the flavor of the cigar, as any drink would. If you take a, a taste of the whiskey, Definitely changes the flavor. Makes it much more complex. So to sum it up, the Christoph Maduro Robusto 5.5 by 54. There were a lot of nice scents on the wrapper in the nose, and the pre-draw had lots of nice flavors. Everything from cedar and chili powder, definite hay and other barnyard flavors. Maybe some curry in there, a little bit of bread. But none of that carried over into the smoking of the cigar. It's a medium body, relatively dry smoke. The first half saw mostly metallic minerals, flint, that type of thing. Subtle. Uh, I generally don't like the taste of flint, but small quantities, subtle, short on the finish, it was fine. There are some tastes early on of some underdone poultry, didn't last for long, quickly progressed to some subtle hints of grilled meat, eventually became roasted meat, some black pepper in there, occasionally got some hints of cardboard. Towards the end of the cigar, there are fair amounts of black pepper throughout the palate. Picked up some, some toast in the final third. I did pick up for a short time in the second third some saddle leather 
and a, like a custard type dessert. The smoke has been warm and dry throughout the cigar. You certainly would want something to drink with this. $8.85 price point. That's probably a fair price for this cigar. I've been smoking it for about an hour. Overall, pleasant cigar. So I thank you for once again watching Scorpion Cigar Reviews.